Hello, goddess. Congratulations for winning. Self-love. This is what it's all about. My name is Vera Ventura and I am an essential oil specialist and also health and wellness coach. And I'm going to teach you about oils, essential oils that help with self-love and also beautifying the skin and just treating you like the goddess that you are. So first of all, there's three ways that you can use the essential oils. And so the first way is just through the air. It's, it's in a diffuser. You can also just put it in the palms of your hands, just like this. You just put it right in the palms and you can rub your palms together and inhale. So that is a way where you can experience the oils. You can put it on, in, there's jewelry you can put it in, on your clothing. You can even put essential oils in your hair. Essential oils are actually really good for your hair, like rosemary is really good to, for hair growth. I bet you didn't know that, but it is, it's really powerful. So that is the first way you can use the essential oils. The second way that you can use the essential oils is actually on your body, on your skin. So one of my favorite oils, just like that I always feel like an uber goddess, a real goddess with is yarrow palm. So it's yarrow um, flower and also pomegranate which is super great for antioxidant. And so skin repair and also fine lines, age lines, wrinkles, things like that. And I just put it right on my skin at night and in the morning before I put on any kind of tint or makeup and it gives me that like shine. It's a beautiful shine. And you just put it right on the skin. Another amazing oil for the skin is frankincense. So, you know, if you have you know, about the three kings, um, they gave uh, for Jesus, baby Jesus, frankincense, myrrh, and gold. So at the time, frankincense was more valuable than gold, which was is amazing. Here it is. And I use this in conjunction with the yarrow palm for my skin, for the anti-aging, just, just to beautify my skin. And frankincense can also be diffused. It's also good for anxious feelings, and, um, if you're feeling overwhelmed. You can also put it um, right underneath the tongue, uh -huh. just like that. It's really good um, for just calming the mind, body, spirit, and the back of the head, right here, the back of the head. And so you can inhale frankincense, you can put it on your body. And the third way, of course, that I just mentioned is you can actually take some of these essential oils internally. So citrus oils like lemon and grapefruit. Oh, I love grapefruit. Um, it's really good for cleansing your lymphatic system. So is lemon, lime, any of the citrus oils you can put in your water. And then essential oils you can take internally. Say you're coming down with um, something and you're feeling like you're not feeling like the goddess that you usually are. So you can take essential oils internally like oregano or we have an oil called On Guard um, to help boost our immunity and just help us feel better. Also, if you have like an upset stomach or you're having like a funky digestion. Okay, so I just wanted to go over the three ways to use essential oils. Now I'm gonna talk about oils to celebrate the goddess. So I already talked about two, um, which was my yarrow palm, yarrow pomegranate. So this is just like such an amazing, just treatment for yourself. You literally feel like you're in a spa like morning and night when you're putting this on your body or on your face. <laughs> And then of course the frankincense you can mix in with that. And then just have the frankincense diffusing throughout the day. I also really like um, diffusing adaptive. So adaptive is another oil just for calming the mind, body, spirit. It literally is called the calming blend. And this is another one you can just inhale. And when you inhale essential oils, your olfactory bulb, which is responsible for emotions and memory, it is triggered. And so there is a release of serotonin, uh, dopamine, feel good chemicals. Just by inhaling and closing your eyes, you can integrate this into your meditation practice, any kind of yoga practice. I'm a yoga teacher and in my yoga practice, I always have my students begin with uh, inhaling essential oils and also ending with essential oils because it just enhances the experience, enhances the experience. So. That's a great way for if you're feeling ever overwhelmed or just like life is coming at you too much, this is a great just way to just calm the mind, calm the bit, just open up the bottle and inhale. Now this one you can also place on your pulse points right here and right here. 
and right here. And this adaptive comes in a system with also supplements for anxiety, stress. So I talk to, I meet a lot of people who are on some sort of antidepressants or anti-anxiety. So this is more of a natural supplement to help with that. So that is the, the, the next goddess oil that I'm talking about. And now Whisper. Whisper was one of my first oils and it's called the blend for women, which makes sense because we're celebrating women and our self-love and all that sort of stuff. So celebrating yourself. So this is an oil that actually interacts with your pheromones in different ways for different people. So you just put it right here on your pulse points and it's like a, a natural perfume because a lot of perfumes on the market have synthetic chemicals or fragrance. So whenever you see, when you're reading the labels, if something says fragrance, it's usually synthetic that can be um, uh, disruptive for your endocrine system and your reproductive system. So you wanna avoid any fragrance. And I know we're talking about essential oils and smells, but there's it's not fragrancy. It is literally the plant. You're putting the plant and it's a condensed version of the plant. So Whisper, has beautiful essential oils like bergamot and patchouli and sandalwood, but it's literally the plant. We're not talking about any sort of pharmaceutical uh, chemicals that have been made in labs or anything like that. This is just the pure natural. So in a way, you're not gonna be super smelly. I mean, you're gonna have a nice smell, of course, but it's, it's not gonna be the super powerful smelly smell. So that's Whisper. So I love, love, love that one. Okay, another one to get things moving, like maybe you've been in quarantine with your your spouse or your partner, or maybe you live alone and you wanna like just get things moving again, you get your inspiration back. That's why I love passion. So it's called the insp inspiring blend. So whether you're trying to get inspired back into work or inspired, you know, you, you're in your work and you're not inspired in your work and you wanna find some inspiration, this is a, this is a great oil to help with that inspiration. Once again, you can just put it right on the, the pulse points here and you can put it right on your the wrist. So it's a beautiful one. Ah, love it. And it's great for, for diffusing. And you can mix and match. You can have a little bit of whisper, a little bit of uh, passion on your body. It, you, you know, you, you can have fun with it. I mean, that's that's part of the journey is just to have fun with all this good stuff. And of course, let's see lavender everyone loves lavender and i love lavender there's another oil called serenity so these are all oils for calming so usually the names of the oils de designate what kind of what does it do for your body so balance serenity peace lavender these are all very calming you know just 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 relaxing oils just really just coming into your body oils and adaptive but if you want to energize yourself right if you want to get things moving you know you would want to do more the spicy oils or the citrus oils or the mints like peppermint and um lemon even those are those are energizing oils wild orange wild orange i mean just the the name wild orange is just you know you're just like excited and you want to go do wild and take off your clothing in a jungle, right? Cause that's, I do that all the time when I smell wild orange. So you would too, if you're smelling wild orange. <laughs> okay, and then one of my last oils for the goddess, right? Celebrating you, celebrating how divine you are. Well, the most divine oil of them all, my darlings, is rose oil. So rose oil, you can put on your neck, you can even roll it all over your face and smell like a giant freaking rose bush that is just blooming. And did you know it takes 10,000 rose petals just to make one little bottle of rose oil? This is, we're talking about the purest of the pure. This is sourced in Bulgaria where they have like the annual rose festival. So rose oil, you can just put all over your body, put it everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. You can even put it under your armpits. I don't use deodorant and I just use essential oils, to be honest. Um, so it's a beautiful oil and it, it celebrates you, their femininity. And it's not only a smell good oil, but it also is incredible for complexion and for mood. You can even put it over your heart chakra and it's just a beautiful oil for for connecting with your heart chakra, connecting with oh, all that those beautiful parts of your body, your sacral chakra, your root chakra, all these oils connect together. 
So I want to honor the divine energy in you. And of course, if you have any questions, if you'd like to connect with me, I am at Voracious Healing on Instagram. So at Voracious Healing. And my name is Vera Ventura. Feel free to connect with me anytime. Thank you so much. Beautiful, beautiful goddess. Take care. Bye.